children, we have completed our two chapters. Hope all of you understood it and cleared. Okay. Shall we start our third chapter? Chapter's name is Animals. How life goes on. Engineana animals in the life. Munodabodu. Okay. We can start the chapter. Living things do not live for ever. It will live only till their lifespan. One living thing, all living thing in the lifespan complete avana vare jivigulu. Lifespan means eyes. Okay? One living thing in the eyes and answer is our jivigulu. For life to go on, namada life munno to poga nangil, that living thing has to give birth to their same kind. That is, they have to give birth to their young ones. Usually, animals reproduce in two ways. Reproduce, reproduce means giving birth to young ones. And the process by which living things produce more of their own kind is called reproduction. Avanavande type lulla young ones in a produce a chain in a parinadane reproduction giving birth to young ones. Understood? Usually animals reproduce in two methods. First one is by laying eggs and the second is giving birth to young ones. Those animals that give birth to young ones and feed them or take care of them are called mammals. We comes under this mammal category. Human beings are also mammals. Some of them lay eggs and hatch it. Right? Now we can study about mammals in details. Animals which give birth to young ones and feed them on their milk is called mammals. Anchale, kuttigale, palu uti valartna. Animals or living things in a parina dhane, mammals. They are the most developed among all animals. Illa animals in the kutadilum, avarana etum developed. Their bodies are covered with hair. Some examples for mammals are horse, cat, dog, cow, goat, etc. These are examples for mammals. Humans too are mammals. We human beings are mammals. Two bats are flying. Bats fly like birds, but they are mammal too. These birds are, these bats are also mammals. The smallest living mammal is the Nittis hog-nosed bat. Kitty's hog-nosed bat are a two smallest title, mammal. This bat has a body of one inch. One inch in the one One inch long and weight of two grams. One inch nilaum dandu gram weight. Can you imagine the size of that bat? Which is a mammal? It's too small, right? Do you know that whales and dolphins, even though they look like fish, they have hairless bodies, they are mammals. 
Why? They give birth to young ones and they give their milk. They feed their young ones. Okay? Next session is care for the young. Namal engine namada kuttigala? No. Namal means animals. Mammals. Namal na parayangarna, we also include in mammals. Right? Right. Mammals take care of their babies for a long period of time. Usually, mother cares for the young. Weetle, mother selle, ningalda kurdalum care ya? Alle? She feeds the babies, clean them, keep them warm. Mother animals, usually mothers take care of their babies. They feed the babies, clean them and keeps them warm. She protects them from enemies. As they grow, they, she will teach how to, how to uh, find food for their, their own and how to live in their own. How to live on their own. Or take any jeevi kyanum. Or take any bakshanam teddy piti kyanok. Mother animal will teach their young ones. In certain mammals, fathers also helps for teaching their young ones. He hunts food and guard the young ones. Human beings are the only mammals who look after not only their children but their grandchildren too. Human beings matrana avarude kuttigalayum kuttigalde kuttigalayum take care cheyina. Got it? Human beings take care of their own child and grandchild. Some animals lay eggs. Next we are going to study about those animals give birth to the young ones by laying eggs. First one is birds. Birds reproduce by laying eggs. Mutta virinji telle pakshi kunjungal These birds hatch on this eggs. They keep the eggs are getting warm while these birds are sitting on them. After some time, the, egg, the eggs hatch and baby birds come out. Baby birds are not going to be They will get warm. They will get warm. The eggs of the all birds have a similar internal structure. Which this egg belongs to which bird? Can you identify that? Sometimes, sometimes we can identify. But mostly all the eggs are similar structure. Internal structure. Each egg has a hard protective outer shell. Just think about an egg. Hard protective outer shell. Within the shell, there is egg white. Egg white, albumen. Egg white is called albumen. Within this albumen, the yellow there is a round yellow yolk. Egg in the white in the albumen. What this is called? The white part of egg is called albumen and it contain a yellow colored yolk. What is it called? Yolk. Y-O-L-K. Yolk. This figure shows, there is a picture, no? This shows the development of egg to a baby bird. See this? Yolk transferred to another fetal shape. 
embryo large eyes are seen embryo ingane mari 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 verunadu kanda oro stage ilum appo athreem divasam cover cheyidittana or egg na baby bird ne hatch out cheynadu okay the figure below the figure in 3 4 uh shows the different stages of the development of a chick chick means baby chicken the chick is formed and grown inside the yolk the growing baby is called embryo first stage an embryo the chick embryo uses the yolk as its food yolk aan avaru food aayittu use cheynathu the embryo develops only if the egg is kept warm എഗ് എത്രത്തോളം വാം ആവുന്നു എങ്ങനെയാ എംബ്രിയോ ഡെവലപ്പ് ആവുള്ളൂ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഹെൻസ് ആർ ഹാച്ചിങ് ഓൺ ദ ചിക്സ് കംസ് ഔട്ട് ആഫ്റ്റർ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഡേയ്സ് ദ മദർ ഹെൻ വിൽ ഹാച്ച് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് ഹെൻ ടിൽ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഡേയ്സ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഡേയ്സ് ആ മദർ ഹെൻ ആ എഗിൽ ഹാച്ച് ചെയ്താലേ ബേബി ചിക്സ് ഉണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ അത് egg laying animals not only birds but animals like fish and frogs too lay eggs they lay their eggs in water frogs and fishes lay their eggs in water they care for their babies only for a short time valare korne samayate avare avare babies ne take care ayullo a fish lays thousands of eggs at a time in water kore eggs otta time il fish lay cheyum but out of this only a few will grow to a baby fish kore eggs undavum but only some will grow got it many eggs and baby fish are fish are eaten by the big fish many eggs and baby fish are eaten up by big fish big fish ok vandate ee egg um small fish ne eat you a frog's egg developed into a tadpole it keeps growing and slowly changes into a adult frog first frog inde egg endaita maara tadpole tadpole gradually gradually changes similar to adult frog next is reptiles like lizard snake turtles etc they lay eggs in holes in the ground these type of these type of reptiles like lizard tortoise or turtles snakes lay eggs in a hole in the ground after laying eggs some others go away and never come back many eggs are eaten by other animals valare churukam amma mar means ee mother will never look back to their eggs so mostly they are eaten by other animals some eggs get warmed from the heat of the sun and hatch ingane ubekshichu povana eggs avarku sunde heat undu some of them will hatch other will be spoiled all insects hatch from eggs almost all the insects hatch from eggs some insects like grasshopper and cockroaches have three stages in their life cycle three stages aanu ullathu endinokke grasshopper cockroach okka pollalla insects ne three stages aanu ullathu the baby insect which comes out of the egg is called nymph egg nu insect inde egg nu porthu verna baby insect nu parayna per aanu nymph it is very similar to parent after molting many times it changes into an adult in nymph le baby insect 
eggs in the ulna when the baby insect in a parina than a nymph. After molting many times, corset the same bidditch to molt the tannin, they will change into an adult. Other insects like houseflies and butterflies have four stages in their life cycle. Butterflies in houseflies in four stages, grasshopper, but uh, cockroach in three stages. And uh, baby insect come from the eggs are called nymph. The young ones that hatches from the egg of these insects are called lava. It is very difficult, it is very different from the parent. We have already told that nymph, the baby insect come from the egg, that resemble to their parent. But in case of larvae, it does not resemble to their parent. There are different stages of butterflies as shown in your pic picture, right? Eggs, butterflies lay eggs on leaves. They form two caterpillar. Caterpillar means puru puru. Then third stage is pupa. This is the structure called pupa. These the baby butterfly are very safe in this pupa. And the fourth one is adult. It is very nice to see the different stages that takes place and the conversion of these. Okay. First stage. First stage. This butterfly or housefly lay eggs. Butterfly, in case of butterfly, they lay eggs on leaves. Then the first stage, it look like a worm. The larvae of different insects have different names. The larvae of housefly is called maggot. Maggot. The larvae of butterfly is called caterpillar. The caterpillar eats leaves and grows rapidly. Leaves of the caterpillar valarum. After some times, it stops eating. And they will form a covering called pupa around itself. covering That is pupa. Later, pupa burst open and butterfly comes out. Pupa, pupa burst out either the butterfly will comes out. Adult insect, adult insects do not look their parent. Adult insect, our parent ne. Adult insect do not look after their babies. Adult insect, our babies in a look after chila like mammals only mammals take care of their babies okay in this chapter we have learned about lifespan reproduction nymph molting molting means shedding of all the skin or shell then larva hope all of you understood this chapter thank you <music>